Hello, everybody. Hello, hello. And and so happy to see you here. I hope everything going a while, and I hope you're really feeling the energy change. Things are changing. Things are getting better. I really enjoy uh, the change uh, and, and, and just the intuition that coming in, the enlightenment, whatever you want to call it. It's like we all get in some vibes and it's like, yay, I kind of figuring things out. So anyway, I decided um, this life thing is a good thing, you know. Um, I am going to to do a coffee cup reading. I already turned the coffee cup upside down. Oh, I'm telling you, look at that. Look at that. See? So the bottom is a bit, it was a bit dark. The bottom a bit dark. So anyway, let me take a look and see what we have. Uh, wow. Um, Uh, you had, uh, uh, I, I, I see like a Christmas tree in the bottom of the cup. Of course, it is dark. It is too much going on. It's uh, It was intense. And all of a sudden, you just feel like uh, you're around the people more. Something happened. Something changed. Is it a new job? Is it a new, uh, I don't know what it is, but it is, it's like you have so many people. You're surrounded with so many people. Or maybe you start to get up more. I'm not sure. But I'll tell you, look, this is the coffee cup in my hand. And you were climbing up. You were climbing up. Uh, uh, but uh, you were heavy. Uh, there was darkness inside of you. You just, you just not sure which way you want to go. I'm sorry, you guys. The light's... Oh, the windows are behind me, but you're climbing up and you're not climbing up straight. So you're climbing up heavy uh, on hands and on knees. So you've been pushing yourself, pushing yourself to keep going. But the more you push yourself, the more things happen, the more you find that, oh my gosh, is this ever going to end? Oh my gosh, this is getting so stressful. So your Christmas tree was dark. It was dark. The Christmas tree is a celebration. You, 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 your celebration for life got dark, got dimmed, got full of problems, full of issues, full of tension, full of anxiety, full of fear, fear. Other than anything else, it is filled with fear. And I feel like... Uh, uh, something is snap in you. You just done. You had enough time to move on, and the energy start to change. And you decided that's it. So you start to get out more, or maybe you got a new job, or whatever it is. Um, right now you still tangled up. You're not fully, but you have a vision. You have an intention, and your intention is coming through. You know. It suggests um, uh, uh, it is tangled up a little bit. So a little bit down the road, a little bit down the road, and you have that cage. You have that cage that that is leading you to freedom. It's just get out of the cage. Stand, get out of whatever you are in. There is something you and something not working. Figure out what it is and get out of it. Uh, I saw the bird on top, the cage. And this bird, it's a white bird. It's a blessing. So there is something coming in and you're going to find it with the next future. There is something coming in. Something is, uh, uh, it's a blessing from the universe. The, the universe is a blessing, you, you guys, with something, with something really beautiful. Because 
It is showing you your blessing is going to come when you get out of this cage and you become free. Because when you feel free, you are more, it is easier for you to flap your wings and fly. It is easier for you to really dream of new things. Uh, when you stuck in one spot, you can't dream. You can't get out of the cage, right? So you need to get out of the cage, have an intention because it is coming. You guys, it is coming. So you need to set an intention and really be 100% sure that you want to get out of the cage, whatever is your cage, wherever it is, whoever it's involved, Figure out a way because there is a blessing coming. A blessing is coming. I love it. And when you get out of the cage and you receive that blessing, maybe you get out of the, the, the cage with the grace of God. You know, you, you find the freedom. Everything just kind of like vast and white and clear and, and beautiful. And it's like, wow, I cannot believe I could see what was my fear. I had fear. How did I not be able to see all this? I wish I was able to, to really make this decision a while back, you know? Oh, gosh, you guys. I am sorry because I have other things I need to go to. I don't want to miss this uh, reading. Uh, but uh, uh, you may not see me too clearly. I hope not. And here... In here, you stood up straight. Oh my gosh, you climbed a mountain. So you were down at the bottom and you climbed. And right now, you stand in a straight. Some people don't like you standing straight. It's not good for them. You better than them. How could they be down and you are up there and standing straight and you're not doing things the way they do and the way they think it should be done? You guys. It is important that you do your own thing and focus on creating this energy, the, 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 taking care of your energy body, taking care of your physical body, taking care of your health body, taking care of your mental body. You need to take care of all that. You need to come to balance. People is not important. Nobody care about nobody. You think somebody care very, 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 very rarely you really find someone that really care. All those friends you think they are your friends. Reality, it is them that's benefit. If they're not benefiting, they leave. Okay? So you think about you. But, my friend, listen to this. This is so beautiful. You climbed up the hill. You climbed up the mountain. You stand in the street, but you're looking back. You're moving forward, but you're looking back. You're looking back. You're looking back like, like somebody want to stop you. Somebody want to grab you and pull you back. And they are such a dark energy. They're so negative. And, and you are moving forward. You're moving forward. All of a sudden, you above your head is like all this darkness made away. You know, God has his way. God has a way to really connect with you, to make things happen to you, for you. The thing is, you have to open the door. You have to believe in yourself. You have to ask for the help. And you have to have an intention not to go back and forth. I have an intention. I'm going to get there. How I am going to get there? God going to send you a message, a messenger. Figure out who is the messenger. If you're not in, in, in a balance within yourself and, and uh, 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 very uh, um, grounded, you're going to miss the message. You're going to miss the message. You're talking to God and God is going to talk to you through nature, through animals, through people, through humans around you. You have to listen. Listen. Okay. But it opened up, you guys. It opened up. It's a beautiful. And it, it's the energy is so beautiful. Um, wow. It, it feels like it's a church because there is a cross. But you are 
way, you had a way away from the cross. You already left up your cross. You already left up all these burdens. You already went through hell. Now it's time to heal and go above. And I see you uh, meeting somebody. This could be a love relationship. You've been through hell. You've been through so much. But I see you wait, me, meeting someone meeting someone and this person come from the other side of the church okay and you climbed over the church you climbed even more and wow here you are meeting this person one two three three signs and i'll say or three weeks or three months it depends where you are energetically okay um it is it's so beautiful wow you have a bear, and the bear is someone who really cares, someone you can trust, someone who wants the best for you. A bear is, is a friend, is a is a is a, a guide, is a uh, an uncle, someone who cares, who wants you to, to be your best. And this bear is right there, just waiting for you to make the move because this bear can see what you can't see. Okay, this bear can see what you can see. He, the bear is just waiting and has a rose in his mouth, right? The bear has a rose in his mouth. I love it. I think it's beautiful. And the rose is, it's like, keep going, keep going. You're reaching somewhere. What you're reaching, you're going to smell the roses. You're going to feel good. You're going you're gonna to reach to something you never thought you're going to get to. You guys, this is a beautiful cup. So the darkness, the darkness is all inside, okay? The darkness is all inside and the bottom. And look at the the, the future as, as beautiful. For some of you, it is really wide open. Uh, you already got out of the dark. You already made a move. You already stepped out of the, the, uh, um, the cage. You already stepped out of... Uh, um, the darkness that you were in, you made a choice already. You put an intention, you already did. Some of you already did, some of you already cut cords, some of you already wrote down what they want and how they're going to get it. You made an intention. I love it. I think it's a beautiful. It is beautiful. This energy now is bringing the best for you. This energy is more love, more kindness, more giving, more you feel like you're not alone. Even if you are alone in your physical space, you're going to feel that God is right there with you. Things going to happen if you pay attention and you're more conscious. You're going to see God sending you signs every day, you guys. Every day. Just just love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. I'm going to pick a, a, a I'm going to pick a card from Moonology when we have the full moon next week. Next week, it's, oh my gosh, it's a beautiful. It's going to be a full moon. I think I may get to uh, do a, a full moon ceremony. Um, maybe uh, a sister's uh, um, gathering. Uh, and if you want to, I think I will do it on... Um, on uh, um, what you call it, the, uh, the magic of self-love. Go and join that group, the magic of self-love. Okay, it will be there on a Friday. I think it's a Friday, the full moon. Oh, look at that, a fiery climax approach. This is full moon in Aries. I wonder what the full moon is in. Oh my gosh, I wish I checked. Anyway, let's read a fiery uh, moon climax in uh, Aries. Let's see. Gosh, I don't use these cards often. So hopefully a uh, full moon in Aries, full moon, full moon, 68. Okay, this is it. It is time 
to see if you have been a little bit too much me, 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 me. There is a tug of war going on between what you want and what someone else want. Oh gosh, you guys, I just talked about this, but you know, I did so many readings this morning for persons, as a person, not for you to, I don't even know if it was this, I just said it a little earlier or not. If I did, please write me, tell me, because I did like seven readings already this morning. You guys, this is a beautiful. Pay attention. There is a tug of war going on between what you want and what someone else wants. But you will have to wait a little while to see what is going on to happen. Next, as you wait, ask yourself if you've been handling this situation as sensitively as you could have done. If you know deep and down that you have been a little rush or harsh gone too fast or overstepped the mark, then accept that on some level you have created the situation yourself, which means you create your way out of it too. When this card comes, a peak is coming and it could be fiery. Attuned to the moon, this full moon that's coming, be nice, be kind, smile, and be polite as you negative navigate, sorry, as you navigate to where you want to be. Being assertive is good. Just don't write rough shot over anymore. If you are in a tense situation, meditate your way to peace. Don't be a baby. This can be an issue if you are a baby. You need to have more fun. So either one of those might work for one of you, maybe all of them. I think you need to really focus on you, not everybody else and what they think. Look at that. This is the card. I love it. This is wonderful. You guys have a great week. Oh, gosh, I hope. I, I, um, I'm sorry. Uh, I moved the computer and, and I didn't think about those uh, windows behind me. But please like, please like. And if you need a reading, you can contact me. Now, if you need a reading, I am focusing more on you in the present time, what you need to do, how you need to change your situation. I'm focusing on your insecurities or on how much you've given. Maybe you shouldn't give that much. Maybe you need to have boundaries. Maybe you need, who knows? Who knows? Every person is different. I'm a coach. And what I like to do, I like to see you creating your future in your own hands with wise decisions and moving on to the future. This is what I like to do. And this is why I do these videos. So you take care, you guys, and if you need me, you know how to find me. Thank you. You take care. Have a great week. And if you want to come to, to um, um, uh, the full moon ceremony, it's going to be on Facebook, on the um, uh, the group. Uh, it's, called, it's a closed group, and it is called the Magic of Self-Love. Okay, you guys, I'll see you there. You can ask me if you can't find it. It is on Facebook. Okay, and I will let you in once you find it. Bye-bye for now.